create an Eternal wallet, start by navigating to the Chrome Web Store. Search for Eternal Beta and click on the first result. Then click Add to Chrome. Once Eternal Beta is added, you'll find the Eternal Wallet in your extensions. For easier access, you can also pin it to your browser by clicking the puzzle icon and selecting the pin next to Eternal. First, we'll start with the Prime Network. Make sure you're connected to the correct network. As you can see in the bottom right, I'm currently not connected to the Apex Prime Network. I'll click here, select Apex, and switch to the Apex Fusion Prime Testnet Network. I'll start by clicking on Add Wallet and selecting Create New Wallet. First, I'll give it a name. I'll call it Prime Wallet, but you can choose any name you like. Next, I'll set a strong spending password to keep it secure. After saving, I'll create one account. Now, it's important to ensure that no one can see your screen, as the next step will reveal your recovery phrase. Next, make sure you write down all 24 words of your recovery phrase. Remember, this is the only way you can restore your wallet if your computer is broken, so it's crucial to keep it safe. I'll check this box to confirm I've written it down, and then click Continue. Finally, you'll be asked to enter all 24 words to confirm you've saved them correctly. After a few moments, our Prime Wallet should be ready to use. After setting up our Prime Testnet Wallet, we can now set up a wallet on Vector Testnet. The first step is to switch to the correct network. In the bottom right corner, switch the network to the Apex Fusion Vector Testnet. Once the Vector Testnet is loaded, you'll notice that we don't have a wallet yet. I'll click on Add Wallet. Here, we have the option to create a new wallet, but we can also use the recovery phrase from our Prime Wallet. I'll click on Restore Wallet and re-enter the 24 words of my recovery phrase. After that, I'll click Continue, give the wallet a name, I'll call it Vector Wallet, and set a strong spending password. I'll repeat the password, click Save, and create one account. Click Save again, and after a few moments, our wallet should be ready to interact on the Vector Testnet. To confirm, on the Apex Vector Testnet, we now have one Vector Wallet account. When I switch back to the Apex Fusion Prime Testnet, we also have one wallet account there.